we're today at Fraser's Fishery in Little Downham. This is about third drop in. Already had a nice little common. Lovely little place, only about sort of five, ten minutes away from where I live. Never been here before. But good mate Ian, who's fishing down the bottom there, he sort of comes here in the closed season. We've got young lad Finn with us as well, who's learning to fish, which is Ian's protege. He said, well, let's come and give it a go. It's only down the road. It's a nice sort of soft, soft elastic. Um, even though there's some reeds over the other side, so there's no, yeah, there's no rush. This is decent fish. Fishing an 014 main line, and also with 014 hook length as well. Size 14 Drenham Wide Gate car fork. And just a 4mm expander, which I soaked in some CSL glug before I left the house this morning. Nice fish. Take it nice and easy. Fishery supply all the nets. You can use keep nets here. So fishery supplies the keep nets. Fishery supplies the landing nets. It's five pound a day. Definitely uh, fit fish in here as well. Out the norm, you know. You sort of know that I normally sort of fish the rivers and try to go silver fish in the close season. But with this being on the doorstep, nice to come down and have a go. Pick that, mate. Certainly hanging on. She's in the net. Yeah. Good fish. Bloody fish to start with. So we get one or two more. And then that. <laughs> All my rigs today are um, Dino Gino floats. I'll just hook that on there. So we've got a Dino Gino 0.4 there. We've 
I've got a little depth marker, a couple of number nine shot. I've got a bolt there, four number eights and a number nine. Number nine dropper there. Like I say, size 14, Drenham Wide Gate Carp. Homemade Dacron, simple double loop. Little pot on the end, simple as that. Sort of depth rig, right on the shelf. There's a 0.6 Geno, a couple of back shot there, again, Dacron. Just the bulk, two droppers, exactly the same hook. Wide gate drenner. On fishing expanders, that's a size 16, but that's the hook pattern we're using. And the main line is Silk Shock Aspire. Pellets I'm using over there, soak 4 mils, the Bait Tech expands, and I'm actually if I can find it. When I pumped them I actually soaked them. With a little bit of glug. Here it is. New Bake Tech CSO natural glug. You see there they got like a dark hue. Whereas the natural ones are a little bit lighter. See there, a couple of dark ones. The other is a little bit lighter. Feed. Bait tech. Four mil carp course. Soak those for about four minutes and drain them off and just leave them to stand. I've got no flavouring on them and all I'm doing I'm going to pot over about six or eight on the far line every time I go out and just loose feed two plus two down the edge. I'm just going to fish corn. The Bake Tech Super Sweet Natural Sweet Corn, perfect. Cracking grains, nice and solid. And I'm just going to loose feed a few of them down the edge. As like I say, we've got off to a half decent start. We'll now see if we can get one or two more. So that's all the setup. I'm going to keep carrying on on that far line, keep loose feeding on the one in the track, and loose feed one or two down the edge as well. So we get a head down, get one or two fish and check in with you in a bit. Oosh. Here we go. Beautiful common, as fit as a fiddle. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we've been having a few carp, some little tench, the old crucian. A few F1s. Young Finn has had a couple of nice chub. 
and a whiskery old barable. It's great fun on light elastic. I'm still fishing that sort of far line. Alternating between expand the pellet and corn. And I've just had that one on the corn. Beautiful fish. Started off by fishing just expanders and feeding four mil pellet. And had a few rud. So I started introducing a little bit of sweet corn. And it just seems to be got to alternate between grain of corn, get a couple of fish on that, and sort of swap back over to expander. So we had a, we've had a few frosts this week. The water's very, very cold still. But it's very, very enjoyable. So I'm fishing out about seven joints. Tiny bit of a shelf. Just before the the pronounced shelf, it drops right off into the deeper water. Just sort of keep lifting and dropping now and again. Small fish still made in it. Every now and again it goes quiet, you know, bigger fish has moved in. Just lift it so the float can just float and take the water. Just hold it for a second then drop it back down slowly see if there's anything there I've had a couple of fish over it a lot of fish mouthing the bait out there I think it's probably F could be F1s got a little tench as well there we go Nice and easy, no rush. It's on formal expander, which has been lugged in the Bay Tech CSL. Tiny, tiny boy. We've had a few frosts this week. Beautiful, beautiful little common. Look at that, gorgeous fish. Absolutely great on the doorstep. Get one or two more. <laughs> 